time has come once again to talk about all the latest acquisitions that I've got for my Doctor Who collection. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all the stuff that I got recently for my birthday, along with stuff from Christmas just gone. So sit back and relax and let's dive right in. We're going to start off with DVDs. Remember those things? They were a great novelty back in the day. So, for Christmas just gone, and this is the only Christmas item I'm going to show off in this video, we got Doctor Who, the Abominable Snowmen, which is another one of those animations for lost episodes from the 1960s. The BBC have been doing this for the last few years. As it stands, this could potentially be the final animation to get a dvd release but i really hope not i really hope that we get some more in the future now there are murmurs here and there that we are getting further animations possibly this year one being the smugglers and the other being the underwater menace the latter which i'm not really that fussed about because it's a story i'm not particularly fond of to begin with but if true then it is great for those who are fans of the animations and hopefully takes us a step forward to finally having a complete Doctor Who DVD collection. So this is the Abominable Snowmen. Always wanted to own this. Now I finally have a DVD release which isn't the Lost in Time set. Up next, some big finish CDs. In the last year or so since the last time I did one of these type of videos, I've collected a shitload of Big Finish CDs. So if I was to show you every single thing that I've got since the last update, then we will be here until the 30th century. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save a Big Finish collection type video for another time. It is something which I do have in the works. So... If you're interested in that, then stick around for a future video. I'm just going to show you what I've got for my birthday. I think that's the sensible thing to do, because I think it'd be excessive to show everything I got. So I'm still catching up on the Month of the Range stuff. And some of these are going out of print or, or now out of print. So we have the Bride of Peladon which was release 104, it came out a very long time ago now. This stars Peter Davison as the fifth Doctor. We have 45, which was released in celebration of Doctor Who's 45th anniversary. So you can tell how old this is because we're now in the 60th anniversary. This was an anthology release and it's notable for featuring a certain Benedict Cumberbatch who stars alongside Sylvester McCoy as the Seventh Doctor. Now I have a few more recent ones, still part of this monthly range, so just get it all in order. We have Order of the Daleks and I just realised what I said, let's get it all in order. Here's all of the Daleks. I could not have planned that better, could I? I've always liked this cover, so I'm very happy to finally own this in the collection. The next few stories are very Colin Baker-centric, as I like Colin Baker on Big Finish as the Sixth Doctor. So that's Order of the Daleks. Next we have Absolute Power. Quicksilver and to round off the big finish stuff for this particular collection update we have a much more recent release which is part of the Lost Stories range which is Mind of the Hodiac which is written by a certain Russell T Davies and Scott Hancock I wonder what those two are doing these days. Finally, we're going to talk about figures. First up, if you're very familiar 
with recent events then you will know that I picked up the regeneration set which features the new variant of the 13th Doctor along with the brand new 14th Doctor figure. If you want to know a bit more on my thoughts on that particular set then check out the link which we'll see on the screen now but that's not all the figures that I managed to acquire. As you see there are a few figures that have been missing from my collection for a number of years because I never had the opportunity to get around to getting them. These figures I have wanted for many many years. Some which came out nearly half a lifetime ago for me. So the next couple of items are two figures which are now two prize figures in my collection and two figures that I'm very proud to own thanks to the wonders of eBay. So first up we've got the first Doctor as seen in An Unearthly Child. This is the first ever release of this particular variant. I think that this is the best variant of the first Doctor that we've possibly ever had. I think it's much better than the one that BNM released many, many years later. So if you're interested and you want me to do a review of this, then let me know in the comments. And I love this old style packaging. This is a throwback, right? Remember this packaging? The next item, which is the final item that I'll show off for today's video, is still sealed in bubble wrap. I hope we don't have a kablam situation here. <laughs> Just carefully take this box out of this bubble wrap. This is very nicely wrapped. And here we are. This is the Sixth Doctor wearing his blue outfit from Real Time, which was the webcast released by Big Finish in 2002. I have wanted this figure for donkey's years. So happy to finally have this. Again, much like the first Doctor, if you want me to go more in depth in a possible future review, then sound off in the comments. As you may tell by the sound of my voice, I'm very chuffed to have those last two figures finally in my collection after so many years of waiting. I remember the real-time Six Doctor coming out and I was still 14 when that came out. I'm now 28. <laughs> That's how much time has passed everyone. So that does it for this particular collection update. I wanted to keep all you guys up to date with some of the merch that I've got. There's many many more items that I have got since the last one I did which was the end of 2021. 2022 we collected quite a lot of stuff. It was mainly Big Finish, so there wasn't a lot of variety, there wasn't a lot of figures I got, and there wasn't a lot of DVDs apart from that Abominable Snowmen DVD, which you saw near the beginning. But hopefully there's going to be way more stuff coming this year, and there might be more of these type of videos coming your way. As I said, I'm probably going to do an actual Big Finish overview again, show you my updated collection as I've been working very hard on doing that and I might even do that for the action figures as well so hopefully fingers crossed if I get around to doing them I'll be uploading those to YouTube and if I do so then stay tuned for those until then thank you very much for watching take care and see you next time Popping this bubble wrap is just so irresistible. <laughs>